Okay, so this will be the uh, the smock RBST2, and I've just got this. I've taken the cellophane off, so uh, let's have a look inside. Or well, more importantly, let's have a look at the box. Apparently, it's a personal atomite designed by SmokeTech, featuring at self-making heating coils and 3.5 milliliter large e-liquid e capacity. I need to get a translator on this properly, don't they? The dual coils and big mouthpiece design provides, provides very powerful vapor. And the air input can be adjusted by rolling the ring on the base to ch Rolling rings now, are we? Okay. Uh, apparently, Smock provides an alternative to traditional tobacco cigarette professionally. Okay. It is not meant to be used as nicotine replacement therapy for smoking cessation. I like that. That's, that's good. Apart from the, uh, the, the fairly poor English there. But I like the fact it says on the box it's not meant to be used as a nicotine replacement therapy for smoking cessation. That's good. So what have we got here? We've got a scratch reveal authentication thing. I'm not going to bother with all that. So let's get rid of the sleeve. There we go. Let's keep it the right way up for you guys. And pop the lid. So we've got in here a bag of do not eat. Lovely. And we have the atomizer itself, which is quite securely placed in there. So, yeah, they're not kidding. They've got a very wide bore mouthpiece, but it's not that wide bore in the bottom there. So it's kind of just for show. It's pretty standard. Admittedly, you can't get much more wide bore than that on, on, a, on a 510 drip tip. But uh, there we go. Looks all right, though. And, yes, we have an airflow control, and it's fairly smooth. There's no locking into place or indents. We've actually got a slot there and a slot the other side. So it's dual slots. Uh, we've got smock written on it as well. Ah, okay, so let's uh, let's take her apart. Okay, so the first thing I notice is the glass comes out with the actual... Uh, that's not really ideal, is it? Ah, that pops off there, so I want that to go back inside there. Thank you very much. Yeah, you pop in there. We'll sort you out in a bit. Right, so here's what we're interested in. So we've got here the... Uh, okay, so it's a three-piece chimney design. Much like we're very accustomed to. There we are. So we've got two slotted airflow controls there. We've got two posts with holes through them. So presumably this is uh, a design for a dual coil setup. Let's quick notice that that's not a 5... Uh, of course it's a 510, what am I saying? That's not a spring-loaded connection. So we got that against it, um, but you know, let's, uh, let's not worry too much. Most devices now have a, do have a spring-loaded uh, 510 connection, don't they, the female side? So Okay, so we got that. Let's have a look in the box a bit further, shall we? Get rid of that, get rid of this. We've got a baggie of uh, some cotton. What cotton that is, I don't know. I won't be using that, so let's chuck it aside. We got an instruction pamphlet. Which, I know how to coil one of these up. You know, you've done one, you've done hundreds. So, uh, yeah, we're not interested in that. We got a baggie there of some coils. Yeah, that's very nice. I uh, won't be using those, I'll be winding my own. We got a couple of spare screws. And we got another baggie of do not eat. Nice. Okay. So let's, uh, let's concern ourselves with the coiling, shall we? Uh, I need some sort of a coiling base in which to place this. There we go. So, I'm going to get myself some can funnel. What do I want? Do I want to go for temperature control or do I just want to go standard can? I'm going to go standard can funnel. So I'm going to have some... Point three there, and seamlessly, because you would have seen a jump cut, no matter how much I tried to hide it. Uh, some coils had appeared. I didn't want to bore you guys with the uh, the process of me coiling. I need a quick vape. You know, it's two micro coils, and there we are. So that's just zoom in a bit, using the miracle of technology. Look at that! Oh, closeness. This whole new camera setup here, so uh, yes, we like that. That's nice. So there goes a couple of micro coils. So I'm just going to take it off here. And I'll pop it on my device, which I'm cheating because I've already done this. So uh, ta -da -da, dee -dee -dee -dee. right. So it's actually come out at uh, 
yeah, it's the same coil. Um, it's come out at 1.16 ohms. And if we do that, yeah, it glows fairly evenly. Yeah, not too bad, is it? Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm loving this camera setup. Prettiness. Okay, so let's zoom out a bit. And let's prep ourselves some cotton. So. Also, buy some time while that cools down, because I don't want to put cotton onto a, onto a hot coil. So these they are 2.5mm um, coils I've put on there, the inside diameter. So hopefully one length of cotton should be enough. Let's just give that a trim there. Okay, one other thing I've noticed is that the uh, they're not particularly even... Uh, not too bad, actually. No, I can get away with that. Okay. Um, let's quick finger test there. Yeah, that, that, that. Now, you'll notice here the ju the juice channels are actually quite wide. So, I hope we can get away with here with a fairly easy wicking setup. And I will be filling this up with some... Uh, some quite thick VG juice. Because um, I want to see how this compares to the sub-tank, fairly obviously. Or the Delta, in fact. Well, as you can see how this goes. Um, now the top part. Now, one thing I didn't check is how you feel this. Because I'll tell you why. There's a potential problem. Yeah, I didn't think of this. Yeah, there's no fitting hole at the bottom. Um, there's nothing to fit at the top and you see what the problem I've got here is is you saw when I took the tank out or took the bottom off the tank right so this is right the problem I've got is that comes with it thing being you can't work on your coils with the tank in place anyway. So, or out, outside of the tank, you're gonna have to drain it. So I'm thinking, yeah, okay, fine, we'll just go with this. Um, I'm not entirely convinced. No, hang on a minute. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at instructions because I'm not entirely sure they're gonna look at that, they're gonna do this. Ah, right, that is as designed, okay, so I'll screw this back on, and I'll screw that, I'm not entirely sure I like this, I've got to be honest, this annoys me a bit, but apparently this is how you fill it. Like so, I, I, I'm really, really not keen. I don't like this at all. Uh, let's humour it. So I presume I fit it up to the, uh, the threaded section. That'll do. And then we screw this on top. I, I really don't like that. That's uh, that's a bit iffy. So I was going to give it a quick test vape. I've not screwed this up. And turn the power down a bit because I don't want to do this at 40 watts. Okay, right, here we go. We're going to stick it at 20. Holy vapes. 
Okay, so that's enough of the close yuppie stuff. Let's go back and uh, we'll have a further chat about it. Okay, see you in a sec. So then, I've uh, I've had a few tanks through this this RBST now with the build that I put on here, and um, yeah, it's been performing all right. There we go. Um, you know, I've got it at what, 30 watts at the minute, so yeah, that's okay. Um, the flavour has jumped up a little bit. Uh, it might be the case that when I did the f uh, when I, when I first tried it, the uh, I, it was just just before, literally before I, I fell ill with with a cold. Like um, I've said that the the sub tank did produce a lot more flavour even at that point, and it still does. But um, hmm. A bit of a white out there. It's not too bad, um, you know. And for comparison's sake, here's a sub tank mini with the same juice in it, at uh, 25 watt. Although this is with a nickel coil. Uh, this is with standard canfo, uh, dual coil, as you saw me build in the uh, the close up section there. Um, let's see if I can get a shot of cloud. There we go. It's not too bad. Uh, need a bit of a drink. I'm a bit thirsty. Mm. Yeah. So that's all. That's all good. So um, yeah, I've twenty-two quid. Twenty-two quid. This thing cost me. It's not a bad tank. I still have reservations about the filling method. I really do. I've not had any trouble with it, and I've put in, I think, three or four refills now. Um, you know, I've vaped it pretty much dry, and then refilled it, you know, before the cotton burnt, obviously. But, uh, yeah, that is that is my major, major reservation. Um, you know, so you fill it, as uh, just to demonstrate again. You feel it like so. I really, really don't like that. Uh, it's a bit out of focus, isn't it? Because the camera's not on autofocus. Um, but yeah, you feel it this way. Um, I'm not that fond of it, I've got to be honest. But there we go. That's just it, really, isn't it? Um, yeah, I, I would prefer a uh, another filling method, be it with a bottom screw or... or or something like the subject, you just take the entire bottom coil assembly off and job done. But it does perform okay. Now, at 20, for 22 quid, you're getting a lot of atomizer. Um, yeah, you know, I, I can't really say fairer than that. It's uh, the drip tip it is a 510 drip tip. I don't think I covered that. Uh, let me just grab one. Which is easier said than done. Considering the amount of stuff I've got on my desk here, you would think... You would think I can lay my hands on a drip tip. Let's just go back here. I've got plenty here. Ah, there we go. Right. A standard 510 drip tip. Ah, you know what. Yeah, it does go in. There we are. Looks a bit weird. Right. Hmm. There we are. So, um... Yeah. All in, it's not a bad tank for 22 quid. You know, he pays your money, he makes a choice. Um, I'm fairly happy with it. I did pay for this tank, by the way. It wasn't wasn't a freebie. So yeah, there we go. That's the RBST2 then. Cheers.